As November approaches, this comes with the privilege of the United States citizens that are at least 18 years of age to vote. You're voting future leaders who will represent you and your ideas in a political manner. You're voting so your voice can be heard. Voting is a privilege that as citizens, especially women, take for granted each day. Because 120 years ago, us women did not have the right to vote. All of this was soon changed when the 19th Amendment was ratified. These brave women made a difference in the voting rights for the future of America and our daughters. But how? My name is Jalea Black and I am here to tell how us as women gained our right to vote. In this speech, I will be talking about how women have gained the right to vote and just exactly what they did. Furthermore, explaining how it affected not women, but society as a whole. Throughout the 19th and 20th century, women were fighting for the right to vote in America. And after a long process and sleepless nights, we have soon succeeded. How did this affect the rights of us as women today? Where would we be if these brave women did not do what they did? Life before the 19th Amendment was simple. Women's responsibilities were to take care of the home, children, and feed the family. Men, on the other hand, were expected to work and bring home the money for the house. Women had little to no rights, including the right to vote. Women wanted the right to vote for one simple reason, to feel validated and to feel like their vo voices were being heard. Not only that, but men in the 19th century had a serious drinking problem. The women were tired of alcoholism and wanted to do something about it, but they couldn't without the privilege that they have today. Women earned the right to vote by undergoing over 70 years of rioting, protesting, and series of campaigns. We wouldn't have this right today without the women's suffrage movement. The 19th Amendment was passed on June 4th, 1919, and then ratified on August 18th, 1920. But how has this affected women today? This has affected women today because now we are ha now we have the able to right to vote, along with other equalities, a few being owning property, having the right to control our wages, and being able to go to a higher education. Without the women's suffrage movement, we would not have these privileges today. This movement began in 1848 and did not end until the 19th Amendment was passed in 1920. What is the women's suffrage movement? The women's suffrage movement was a series of campaigns and event that led to the passing of the 19th Amendment. Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Staten were responsible for holding the first two conventions for women's rights in New York in July of 1848. This is where it all began. These two women working together led for the formation of the National Women's Suffrage Association in 1869. The WCTU stands for Women's Christian Temperance Union. It was founded by Frances Willard in 1874, and by 1890, it had over 150,000 members. The WCTU was an organization initially founded to limit the amount of alcohol, but quickly turned into pushing the right for women to vote. How was the 19th Amendment ratified? Lastly, I'm going to explain how the passing of the 19th Amendment affected not only women in the 20th century, but women today, women tomorrow, and the women in the next generation. In 1919, the United States House of Representatives approached the 19th Amendment when it was written by Susan B. Anthony, soon after it would have been ratified in 1920. Now we have our right to vote. Without these brave women who did what they did in the United States, there is no telling where America would be today. We would be still be in charge of taking care of the house, cooking and cleaning. We wouldn't be able to have jobs. We wouldn't have the right to an ed or have the right for a higher education. All of these come with the passing of the 19th Amendment, which aspired because of the women's suffrage movement. In conclusion, women hundreds of years ago did not have the same privilege that we do have today. We would not have these privileges if it wasn't for them. The women's suffrage movement not only impacted women's then, but it's still impacting the women today. Without these brave women undergoing over 70 years of rioting and picketing and being denied equality over multiple occasions, we wouldn't have a voice that we do. Us as women wouldn't be able to choose the leader who represents us in a political manner. So the next time you're in a car or on your way to the voting office, just remember that we are where we're at today because of the women back then.